Hey, um, oh, I just got a text from Dennis Kelly. Todd Downing and Keith Carter were fired. I haven't seen anything, so that might be that might be privileged information, right breaking now. information. But that was from Den that was from Dennis Kelly. Oh, really? Yeah, if it was from Dennis, and that means it's probably out Keith there. Keith Carter, the old line coach. Damn, that's crazy. Wow. What's the reaction? Uh, my reaction. Keith Carter and Todd Downing just got fired. Real time. We just saw right now. What's your reaction to that? I don't think you can say that. That's an empty little man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a we got a wow. video. We got, we, we got a video. Oh my phone, my phone's out there. You got so, the video? We'll so show you. Coach we'll Midget, that's his name, not and then Keith Carter and Todd Downing. Oh, Eric Frazier did? Yeah. Rob Moore's still there. I don't think Rob is going anywhere either. What an interesting I mean, first initial thought. I know you're literally on the spot. I know I'm without any time to register. Any of that information. I think Todd is an incredibly good person. He's like awesome to be around. He's a great guy. You kind of could tell, like obviously the whole season, everyone's calling for his head. Like that writing was on the wall. There was a moment when um, I went out to a walk. I think it was right before you got there. I was literally in a poncho. And Todd Todd was like, oh, uh, you playing tight end? I was like, yeah, I'm going to play tight end next, next year for you. And he goes, oh, you going to... And he recited some random high school football team. Like he... I think Todd knew he was going to be fired. I, I I think so. I'm really I I don't know. Hard goes out to him. Good family man. Good dude. Good dude. Obviously a bad situation after the Packers game. Uh, Keith. Keith's been there. Keith's been there. Yeah, for like five years. Last five years. Yeah, man. Keith and I have had a very up and down relationship, and I think it's ended at a much higher point. But damn. I think, like when Keith first got there, he the way he came in and the way he was trying to act towards everybody, like very disrespectful, very... Like the authoritarian? Very authoritative, but like in a very like dictatorship type of way. Keith grew every single year. Um, and he he did live on the O-line with impossible standards. That was kind of like one of those things, you know how football is, you know how it gets kind of toxic sometimes. Like it's never good enough. You think you do well, but all of a sudden there's one or two plays you want back. And sometimes you just want to pat on the back and you never truly get that. I think Keith's a good... I think Keith is a good offensive line coach that was stricken by injuries. Me, Ben, Nate, Brewer was hurt this year. Nick missed a couple games. That's all five starting guys were hurt. So that's not necessarily Keith Carter's fault. I think he, he'll he be able to get a job uh, in the NFL again. But, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to say like anything disrespectful. Right. Because no, I think I he's a good dude. And I think like he his, his and I's friendship Friendship is a very loose term, but our business relationship got a whole lot better from the first time he was in to now. Um, I just wish he he focused a little bit more on taking care of the older players. I think Ben got a little more of that towards the end, and then I kind of did this year. But um, this is, those practices are hard, and they wear on your body, and they wear your tires out really fast. And you could see it towards the end of the season sometimes. But I think I think Keith's gonna get another job. I think he's did he does a great job. I don't know Coach Midget at all. I pass him in the hallway, knocks every once in a while, and that's kind of what it is. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it works out for him. But damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's happening. Black Monday. Black Monday. Yeah, I didn't Monday's think I didn't think they'd be fired till later. I didn't think Keith I did not think Keith was gonna get fired. Yeah. Damn. Are we sure it's Keith Carter? Do you see that uh Blake Corm's coming back? Yeah, I did. Oh, I meant to put a tweet out there like, bro, you've there's only so much tread on the tire in the NFL. You got to go. Leave, away from leave this conference. <laughs> Bigger things ahead, brother. No need to come back to Michigan. Yes. Nebraska will take care of it for you. Oh, yeah. Three-time Bay 10 champions coming up. Last thing, Josh's final. Yeah, hang on. Don't don't even bring that out, dog. Yeah. We, he, he was talking about it. He was yeah, talking about it before. Oh, he was talking about it before uh, uh, that news came out. He's talking about a couple of his teammates from the Steelers. Let him talk. Yeah, what no, 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 no. What are you going to say, go to Nebraska game? I just want to know about Josh's last game as of all. The, uh, the Nebraska game? Yeah. For Will? What was the score? 38-28, uh, I believe. Just 38 close 20. game. It wasn't that close. <laughs> close game. It wasn't that. What was the score? You said 34? 28. 10 points. I mean, we're talking about two possessions. And they scored, like, with, like, two minutes left in the game. And then we took a knee. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Malone were doing handshakes in the locker room. 
<laughs> what year was that? 20, 2016? Yeah, 16. Yeah, Mike Riley was the head coach, right? Uh, it was Riley? Yeah. I think that was part of the Mike Riley era. Like, that's... You don't support that? Hey, sick, Jack. You beat Mike Riley. <laughs> I didn't beat anyone. <laughs> <laughs>